Meanwhile, we will be checking up on the coronavirus situation in Switzerland. We have Christine Benedicto of our EBC Geneva Switzerland Bureau with the, the stories there. Um, Christine? Hi, CJ. So for an update from Switzerland, the Swiss Federal Council has been under a lot of pressure from groups who want to see an easing of measures in the country. The government's decision on the reopening or not of restaurants or at least of outdoor terraces was much awaited, but due to infection rates uh, not going down as much as expected, the authorities decided to extend the restrictions related to restaurants for another four weeks. So currently, dining in restaurants remains prohibited. Uh, work from home is mandatory where possible. University classes take, uh, take place online and sports involving physical contact are not allowed. Restrictions on gatherings outdoors and, and indoors are a bit lighter. A group of maximum 15 people can now gather outside and indoors the limit is now 10. Uh, if we take a walk outside, we do see quite a few people. Customers once again go shopping, although entry is limited according to the size of shops. Restaurant, terrace, chairs and tables do remain covered and are empty despite the arrival of spring and nice weather. Um, when you go to parks and by the lake, we do see groups of people. For instance, uh, by the lake last weekend, you could see many groups of friends and together with, the, you know, with their families, uh, up to the limit of 15, taking a walk or, you know, having a picnic. But several times you could also see a police car not too far away uh, as a reminder that the pandemic is here and that social distancing is indeed one of the many measures that people have to adhere to. Uh, numbers show 2,046 new cases compared to yesterday and 69 additional fatalities. In the past two weeks, Geneva and Beau remain some of the cantons with the highest incidence rates. Total number of infections from the beginning of the pandemic is more than 588,000 with more than 9,500 deaths. So that's the update from Geneva, Switzerland. Back to you, CJ. Well, Christine, thank you for that update. Just a quick question. Um, what's the situation like there when it comes to vaccination? What's the process to get vaccinated there? Any update on that? Sure. So the numbers from two days ago show that uh, more than 1.2 million vaccine doses have been administered mm -hmm. and that close to 466,000 people are mm -hmm. now fully vaccinated. Vaccine is given to people according to their age and risk. The first priority was given to people aged 17 and above. Uh, currently, people with underlying medical conditions are receiving their first dose or expecting already their second dose. Uh, in order to get the vaccine, it's actually quite simple. You just have to register online. And once you complete the registration, you get a confirmation by text message. And then it's just a waiting game. So you have to wait for, for days or weeks until you get notified by another text message, uh, but this time with your two vaccination dates. If you are set to receive the vaccine as a priority, you need to provide a medical certificate from your doctor when you get to the, when you go to the vaccination center. CJ? Well, that is uh, very good news to hear. And, um, you know, we're always hoping that you guys stay safe over there and that things get better very, very soon. Thank you so much, Christine, for your update there in Switzerland. Well, thank you as well for having me. I'm Christine Benedict, reporting from Geneva, Switzerland. We live in interesting times.